We are gathered here today to witness the commitment to marriage between Jacqueline and Louis. It is on their behalf that I welcome you this afternoon to Laguna Chapel, Phuket, Thailand. The beauty and the natural serenity of this location is a fitting backdrop as we come together to celebrate the union in marriage of Jacqueline and Louis. Both Jacqueline and Louis are heartened by the love and support that they have received from family and friends. They're happy that all of you have traveled today to many distant parts of the world to be with them. And they hope that this afternoon and evening will be one of celebration and joy for all of you as it is for them. The congregation may be seated, please. <laughs> Marriage is a supreme sharing of experience, an adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. It's a joyous union between two people whose comradeship and understanding have flowered in romance. Today, Jacqueline and Louis proclaim their love and commitment for each other to the world. And we gather here to rejoice with and for them in a new life that they will undertake together. Marriage requires love, a word we often use with vagueness and sentimentality. That love is rare and mystical, which in fact is a nature of our normal being. So what do we mean by love? When we love, we see things that other people do not see. We see beneath the, the surface to the qualities which make our beloved so special and unique. To see with loving eyes is to see an inner beauty. And to be loved is to be seen and known as we know no other. One who loves us gives us a unique gift a piece of ourselves, but a piece that only they can give us. Marriage is to belong to each other through a unique and diverse collaboration, like two threads crossing in different directions, yet weaving one tapestry together. To make this relationship work, therefore, takes more than love. It takes trust to know in your hearts that you want the best for each other. It takes dedication to stay open to one another, to learn and grow even when it is difficult to do so. And it takes faith to go forward together without knowing what the future holds for you both. While love is our natural state of being, these other qualities are not so easy to come by. They're not destination, but a journey. And so Jacqueline and Louis, friends and family, we are here to share with them this joy and hope and to set them off on the path that they will walk together. May it be a path of blessedness, bright with flowers of prosperity and spiritual awakening, a path of ever deepening and ever broadening love, that they will travel arm in arm and throughout eternity. If we could have our reading this afternoon, please, which will be read by Sabrina. Thank you.
First book of Corinthians, chapter 13. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but not have love, and a noise, a gong, or a clank of cymbals, if I have the poverty of powers and understand my mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but not to have love, I'm nothing. If I give away all that I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned, but not to have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous nor boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not, it does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes in all things, hopes in all things, endures in all things. Love never ends. As for the prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For our knowledge is imperfect and our prophecy is imperfect. But when the perfect comes, and the imperfect will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I become a man, I give up the childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall understand fully. Even as I have been fully understood. So faith, hope, love, abide these three. But the greatest of these is love. Amen. Jacqueline and Huey, Louis, you being here today to be joined in marriage is an act of faith. Faith in the love that you have for each other. This faith can grow and develop to last, but only if you both decide to make it so. A lasting and a growing love is not guaranteed by a ritual. Along with the devotion that you feel for one another today as the foundation of your marriage. Also treasure the hopes and dreams you hold for the future together. So I ask you both, will you, Jacqueline and Louis, take each other to be husband and wife? Will you love, comfort, honor and cherish one another in all times of sickness and health and forsaking all others be true to each other as long as you both shall live wedding vows are the most living and powerful words two people can say to each other the saying of these words before family and friends that make them husband and wife. So if you now say after me, if you face each other, you hold hands and if you repeat after me. I, Louis, take you, Jacqueline. I, Louis, take you, Jacqueline. To be my wife. To be my wife. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Whatever the future holds, whatever the future holds, I will stand by you. I will stand by you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. So if you repeat after me. I, Jacqueline, take you, Louis. I, Jacqueline, take you, Louis. To be my husband. To be my husband. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. 
All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Whatever the future holds. Whatever the future holds. I will stand by you. I will stand by you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Traditionally, the status of husband and wife is marked by the exchanging of rings. These rim rings are the symbol for the whole community of commitment and the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end. As you give these rings to each other, our hope is that your love will be as eternal and everlasting as these rings. May these rings remind you always of the solemn vows that you have taken here today before these close friends and family. Jacqueline, I place this ring on your finger. Jacqueline, I place this ring on your finger. Wear it as a symbol. Wear it as a symbol. Of my love and commitment to you. My love and commitment to you. And our hopes of the future. And our hopes of the future. And all that we share. And all that we share. place this ring on your finger. Louis, I place this ring on your finger. Wear it as a symbol. Wear it as a symbol. Of my love and commitment to you. Of my love and commitment to you. And our hopes for the future. And our hopes for the future. And all that we share. And all that we share. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacqueline and Louis have declared before all of us that they will live together in marriage. They have made special promises to each other. They've symbolized it by the joining of hands and by the exchanging of rings. They have done this in front of their families and those that are most special to them. It is now my pleasure to pronounce them to be husband and wife. Photographers probably will ask you to do that again, maybe. So <laughs> you can start to make your way around for the signing of the register. Could I ask Farah and Corey, please, who are witnesses, to make their way to the side?
goes back and he stands here to kiss again for more food. Show you now that I'm free. 